Hey everyone, it's Phoebe. How are you all doing? I hope you're having a great morning, afternoon or evening, depending on where in the world you are. So I thought we'd do something a little bit different today. I'm a true crime junkie. My name is Phoebe and I am a true crime junkie. And I wondered whether you are too. I've been into true crime probably for about 10 years now and I think I became a junkie around 2013 when I discovered the Jodie Arias case. I'm sure lots of you are aware of the Jodie Arias case. She murdered her boyfriend Travis Alexander back on the 4th of June 2008 although she didn't actually go to trial until 2013 and her case is still in the news now so if you are, are not familiar with the Jodie Arias case I would highly recommend it I've actually got a playlist on my channel of some of the really really good uh, cross-examination done by Juan Martinez the Arizona prosecutor because Jodie herself took the stand and would you believe she was on the stand for 18 days 18 whole days and Juan Martinez is amazing to watch I'm a big fan of his and I think he did a brilliant job and I wish to goodness that he'd done some of the other trials that we have watched recently Anyway, so I wondered if you are a true crime junkie too. So I thought we would do a little quiz. There's 10 questions and it is multiple choice. I'll give you opportunity to jot down your answer. So if you want to go and grab a pen and a piece of paper, that would be great. Or you might not need a pen and a piece of paper. And then at the end, I'll give you the answers. I actually did this quiz online, so I will reveal <laughs> my answers, how many I got out of 10, and which questions, if any, I actually got wrong. So let's get started. First question, how did Ted Bundy lure women into his car? By offering them a lift, by feigning an injury or a disability, or by pretending to be a salesman. Question 2. What was John Wayne Gacy known as? The Night Stalker, the Killer Clown, or the Highwayman? Who is the main subject of season one of the podcast serial? Is it Adnan Syed, Amanda Knox or Stephen Avery? How was Jeffrey Dahmer caught? One of his intended victims escaped and alerted the police. A neighbour complained about a foul smell coming from his apartment or he had tried to elicit sex from an undercover police officer. The Green River Killer used to do what with the bodies post-murder? Embalm them, have sex with them, or dismember them. Sharon Tate, brutally murdered by the Manson family, was the wife of which famous director? Was it James Cameron, Stanley Kubrick, or Roman Polanski? What was, what was the name of the murdered family depicted in Truman Capote's In Cold Blood? 
Was it the Clutter family, the Williams family or the Edwards family? Who lived at the address 25 Cromwell Street? Was it Fred and Rose West, the Yorkshire Ripper or Dr Harold Shipman? How many years did Stephen Avery serve in jail before he was exonerated? 10 years, 14 years or 18 years? And finally, which serial killer is this a sketch of? The Long Island serial killer, the Zodiac killer or the BTK killer? Okay, so those are your 10 questions. I'll um, just going to give you the answers now, okay? So here we go. Question one about Ted Bundy. He feigned an injury or a disability. Question two. John Wayne Gacy was known as the killer clown. Question three, who was the main subject of the first season of the podcast serial? That was Adnan Syed. How was Jeffrey Dahmer caught? One of his intended victims escaped and alerted the police. What did the Green River Killer do with the bodies of his victims after murdering them? He had sex with them. Which famous director was Sharon Tate married to? That was Roman Polanski. What was the name of the murdered family depicted in Truman Capote's In Cold Blood? That was the Clutter family. Who lived at 25 Cromwell Street? That was Fred and Rose West. How long did Stephen Avery serve in jail before being exonerated? 18 years. And finally, who is the serial killer in this sketch? It is the Zodiac Killer. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed that little quiz. I shall let you know that I actually got 8 out of 10 of those questions. The two I got wrong were, I got the Sharon Tate one wrong. I think I said that she was married to Stanley Kubrick. And I got the final question wrong about this sketch. I thought it was the Long Island serial killer, when in fact it was of course the Zodiac killer. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed sharing some time with me this evening thank you very much as always for being here with me i shall bid you all a good night as it is almost 1 a.m here in the uk now take very very good care of yourselves and i shall speak to you again very soon love you lots bye bye